Captain Sig Hansen tracks a Bairdai school fleeing the western border of the restricted area. You've got an upcoming apelio season, and so you want to get this done. But with the ice advancing 15 miles a day, time is running out to catch his final 9,000 pounds before turning to the opilio hunt. Here we go. These crab are valued. The value's gone up and up. Hopefully, we can get a good pick out of it. Come on, baby. I'm not seeing a lot of volume. Oh, man. Uh, smalls and a little bit of females, they've got mixed in there. Just we want better than that. I don't like any of these. Sometimes a band of crab can go one way and turn. I mean, you just never know. It's, it's doable to go and prospect, but Trying to do it alone just takes so much more time. It wouldn't be a bad idea to see if we can get a little help and make this thing go faster. On the Northwestern. Just setting this down uh, a little bit west of where we were. You know, things change overnight, especially Baird Eye. I could see that they're moving around a lot. But we'll just try to box these in. This will go pretty quick, because we want to get moving on it. While just 50 yards away. All right, so I'm going to come in and tell your course here. On the wizard. We should create a bait cloud that will bring these crab into a feeding frenzy. Perfect, that's a good way to start. Bingo, OK. If you're ready, let's dump it. Yeah, just set it if you're ready. Going over. Because we're kind of at a time crunch. We need to stay close to each other. We are carpet bombing and building a bait cloud. Basically, we are chumming the crab into this area. Captain Sig and Keith bet on, well, bait, a lot of it, using their combined arsenal to pack twice the herring and half the area, saturating the sea with a pungent odor only a crab could love. We set our gear so that it's as tight as we can get it. We can share the crab. You know, not a big fan of setting gear right next to somebody, but hey, if my numbers double, I'll take it. Between the two of us, we should be able to mop up our crab and be out of here. That's all we're after, man. Just get this boat to the dock and get rigged for a paleo. It just takes one good set, you know, and then we can make this happen. Roger that, Roger. Well, we'll see how this partnership works. I'm still holding my breath. I don't want any more bad blood. No more of this stuff. Put the gear together and then make it happen. I want to be done. What the hell's going on with this thing? Steering's gone. Clark! I got no staring. What the hell? On the Northwestern. What the hell's going on with this thing? Steering's gone. Clark! I got no staring. Alarm steering compass missing. Is there a seagull in my mast? Throw some food out there. Maybe he'll eat it. That's disrupting the signal, so we're losing autopilot. So I'm going to try to be patient. You know, I'm feeding eagles with, uh, with our bait right now. Well, 
we know that they want the herring. Nothing. For some reason, the autopilot's not working. And this is not good. The satellite on top of the mast broken in half. You can poke your head out there and see it. Oh! Half of it's gone! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I... You're going to be jog sticking. That's what it looks like to me. With a patriotic foul doing the Northwestern autopilot, foul. Everything's going to be by hand from now on. That's the way it looks. That means you can't leave this thing for one second. Unbelievable. Captain Sig relies on his own bird's eye view, old fashioned charts, and a compass to stay the course. Starboard auxiliary, low oil pressure. Anything else? Really? OK, tell me what's going on with the engine rooms, because I'm kind of getting scared. We're going to leak on the uh, hydraulic cooler. <sighs> OK, now we stop again. I can't take this anymore. I'm serious. I'm getting tired of it right now. This bull, this bull, that bull alarms. Bull. I really, I want to get out of here. What was it? It was for the hydro cooler. It was just leaking on top of it, so the starboard was just sucking water right into the air filter. We just changed the air filter and stopped the leak. We just closed it. OK? All righty. We need to be right and tight for Opie's. Bottom line, you know? This isn't working. Hey, you got me? Yeah. I got no autopilot. Damn eagle hit the thing and smashed it. Never a dull day. All right, well, let's just find a way to catch our crab and get the hell out of here. The crab will find a way into the tank. We need our good luck. We'll get it done. <laughs>